Hey folks, Kevin here in Japan, and you know, like, you know, you, if, if you're someone who's interested in Japan, I'm living in Japan right now, this is Japan behind me. Um, <clears throat> if you're someone who's interested in Japan, um, and you follow things in Japan, you will know, you'll hear a lot of stories in the news <coughs> about the fact that Japan is having a major population crisis they're about to face, um, the fact that Japan has an aging population, um, to the extreme, so it's it's a major geogra- uh, I should say it's a major demographic shift. Now, how this affects things even around me, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna think of you know uh, a real life example just in my little neighborhood. I live in the middle of a big city. Now I'm approaching some, uh, I'm approaching some buildings. You can see right here. Now, where I live in Kobe, there's a lot of different apartment buildings. And in the summer months, summer festivals are very popular. It's a big thing. Mat City. Um, bono Odori dance uh, festivals, isn't that? And there are quite a few in this little island where I live. And it's really wonderful, and I love it. And I, it was a lot of fun before I had children, but now that I have children who are old enough to appreciate and really enjoy these festivals, it's even more amazing. Because as a parent, and if you're a parent, you'll know this. And if you're not a parent, it's something you might experience later on if you are, and blah, 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 blah. If you're not, blah, 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 blah. But there's nothing more amazing than watching your children have joy. The, the, the only thing better than you having joy is watching your children have joy. <clears throat> and every year, um, my kids would go to a summer festival in that city. Very, very small one, very local one. Right in this little square. This little square right here. And this is a, a Wednesday night right now. And typically, this is what it looks like every night of the week, even on the weekends. No one here. But each summer, one Saturday night, they would have a Mat City here, a festival. And it was so much fun. And in this festival, they would have, um, uh, <coughs> right around this area, they would have people uh, cooking yakiniku and yakitori, so like, ba- like, so like barbecued meat and chicken. And there would be like drinks for sale here. And in the middle, there would be a big dance stage where people would dance around. And they would have a big raffle draw. <coughs> Over on this side, they would have all kinds of different festival games for kids. And more festival games for kids over here. And you'd have all kinds of people sitting here drinking and, and being with their friends and family. And the kids all playing around and loud music. Really amazing. And um, they didn't have one last year. And they didn't have it again this year. And I took my son two years ago. And it was so wonderful. But... My daughter just turned two. <coughs> she never experienced the festival here, and it's a real shame because it was so much fun. My son dressing up as a little jimbe, coming here, playing games, getting like big inflatable swords and toys that are very common in Japanese mat cities, and having fun and eating food, eating kakigori, the shaved ice, and uh, mom and dad having some drinks. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. But it, it's the second year in a row now, it hasn't happened. And I've heard from my wife a lot of it has to do with the fact that. A lot of the people who are in charge of organizing this summer mat city, they're just too old now. Uh, they're just tired, or they're not here anymore. They've passed on. <coughs> and, and the thing is, like these buildings here, I live in I live in another apartment building, and I can actually I can look at them, <coughs> and I can see there's a lot of empty apartments now. A lot of people don't live here, so people haven't taken on the torch to to continue on with the mat city. It's really sad, um, and a very selfish way I'll say this because. I don't get to share that experience with my family. My kids don't get to experience it. And we don't plan, you know, the plan is, you never know. The plan is we don't, we don't plan to stay in Japan forever. So these are amazing memories, summer memories that my children will have forever. And the more the better, right? So I'm sitting in this quiet little square all by myself lamenting this. And uh, yeah, it kind of bums me out. Mm. Oh, well. There you go. Hope that didn't bum you too much, but just sharing my thoughts with you guys. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Kevin here in Japan. Uh, Check out the links below for all kinds of cool stuff, my podcast and other things and social media, blah, 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 blah. Later.